Welcome back to John's Daily Calls, guys. My name is John, and today I've got uh, a little bit of a treat for us on top of the standard uh, trading, investing versus end call. So this is where we break down the market, tell you what's going to happen. First off, I want to start before we do our rewards here. I want to show you guys these leaks because I always give you guys the update the leaks. I just don't want to forget. We've got Rudiger here. We've got uh, Tamori. Looks like Gakpo. Looks like Felix. And uh, then we have that Evo leak. And then this Lawrence card might be a monster of a card. On top of that update, if you guys have been uh, with us on the channel, this is from my video where we talked about the, uh, where we ended up talking about uh, the Icon Evo leak. Uh, these are pretty close to the, I'm pretty sure those are pretty accurate on um, the leaking information. Uh, but look at this, guys. I'm I'm dropping a lot of content, a lot of just random content that uh, is 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 off the queue. But, anyways, so those are some of the requirements. If you guys are tuning in from uh, that aspect of the game, but let's go ahead and hit these uh, hit these rewards just uh, just for the fun of it to see what uh, rank one elite rewards uh, are able to pull us out today. But um, before we go into, I guess while while that's uh slowly downloading from ea we'll start talking about the fodder market oh my gosh why is <laughs> it's still downloading i don't i don't understand but uh 83 guys bid battles bid battles bid battles bid battles bid battles bid battles everything here's the thing high rate of fodder is starting to pop it's starting to look like it's a sell point okay high rate of fodder is starting to look like a sell point i guess um and it's wow uh I I can't. Uh, it's starting to look like a sell point, but I I just I went. Okay, it's starting to look like a sell point. However, Casemiro last season during this time in the next two weeks he went up to about forty five thousand coins from where we're at roughly. So, um, we're in a point to where if you sell now, you're not going to be able to hit that additional extra uh, pull up. However, if you if you consider selling now. So if you guys consider selling now your fodder, you're at an upper position, and then you time it to where you can buy some big ass cards, some big, 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 big cards. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking the big cards, right? I'm talking, I'm talking that stuff that we've been uh, going over about the rise of the super metas from last season, and potentially get like a team of the year on the first day, and then see it shoot up. If this happens. If this happens, then oh, you guys, you guys are in the right spot because you made a you made a ton of coin here, and then you're going to make a ton of coin on playable assets too. So I, I definitely recommend checking that uh, that trade out. I'll I'll be updating more into the premium Discord if you guys want to join us live at twitchtv Sims. You guys can see us bid, battle, trade, all that's good stuff live. But this is what it looks like before content today. I expect now it's a Thursday, right? So this is supposed to be the beginning of the 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 down move um the bid battles on 83s is really the way to go if you have an empty transfer list if you're brand new to this game you need to be bid battling on 83s if you don't know what that is join us live on twitch.tv slash john sims you can see the link below in the beacons.ai or io uh, uh link below for our twitch stream go follow us there because we live stream every day um, at 6, 7, or 8 p.m. UK. Every single day, we try to go live. So, um, on top of that, we try to do p.m. Uh, unite, uh, night streams for the U.S. But here are our rewards, and then we'll get into the fire versus ice uh, trading. So, we'll get into the, some of those real quick. So, before we go, okay. I am going, what do I choose? So, I have, what? EA, you can even give me the pack? EA, what is this, one pack? <laughs> Two pack, EA. You gotta be kidding me. They don't even tell me what I'm getting. Now, now it's just a crapshoot to to for uh, what we get. Anyways, I know option two because I'm gonna be doing a ton of untradeable stuff. Um, I'm gonna be doing a ton of untradeable stuff. So usually, guys, as a trader, uh, two pack untradeable. Look at this. Look at this. What is this? What is this? You kidding me? <laughs> this is the dumbest crap I've ever seen. But anyways, all right, let's go. Let's go rip these open. One eighty-four plus pack, boom, and an eighty-six. That's uh, that's that's terrible. I will take. I will take a Casemiro. I will take a Casemiro. Okay, I, that's that's all right. That's all right. I will take that. All right, 
Let's see what these packs can open us for us. And I think I have a cheeky 84 times 5 in here. And you're probably like, oh, John, why don't you save for uh, Team of the Year? That's just not how I roll. Honestly, all the fodder is actually really low. So if you guys are doing SBCs right now, if you guys are doing SBCs, you should co strongly consider, um, like, opening your stuff now. Oh, goodness. Are these all tradable? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. An 85. Ah, uh, this is where I, uh, I might have to end it on that. Uh, at least we got uh, through some rewards. It, I'll, I'll open the rest on the live stream today. So if you guys see it, uh, tune in. But uh, besides that, guys, let's go ahead and start talking about the fire versus ice. Um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw that into an SBC, so I don't want to waste your, your time here. But we've got, uh, this is when the market's going to start maybe potentially pulling up. So this card was absolutely crazy. This is my Suzuko card. I think now's the time to buy a Suzuko here. Uh, at, least, uh, at least club stock it. Uh, this card's going to be insane um, on uh, an Evo. So there was some word of Evo went up to almost, it almost went extinct for, it went extinct and then it kind of crashed back down. I think that card could uh, be insane. So I really think that one's going <clears> to <throat> be a, a unique uh, purchase there. Uh, but Spinozola, I don't really like it. Uh, this is where, okay, so the Fire versus Ice Neymar's, um, he's in the super meta market. The only thing about the super meta market is this, is that they have one play style plus now. So going off of where the market is now, I think this could go up. However, going off of what we're about to be released and as the game progresses with more play styles, that's when I don't know. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't know if he's going to completely depreciate when team of the year comes out and all the people that would be buying a 4 million coin card for a tradable 4 million coin Neymar are going to dump it off because of having only one play style plus. So that's one of the worries I have for the bigger stuff right now. And that's why I think it's going to be a little unique compared to last season. So outside of that, I actually really like this Marcos Asensio card, five star skills. Uh, this card looks like uh, once it gets an Evo, once this one gets an Evo, this one's going to definitely get an Evo at some point if it doesn't take in pace boost. So pace boost, you know, let's say it's 90 overall pace max. Boom, you got it. And you can still, even if it doesn't get a pace boost, you get a Hunter here. So if you get something very similar to what we have now, this isn't crazy to think. So I kind of like the Marcos Asensio. Um, you know, hopefully it doesn't go down to fodder price. Uh, you know, I'm liking I'm liking more along this look this style of trade. I don't like the long pass there, so I probably wouldn't do it. But Marcos Sencio, five star skiller, uh, potentially get like probably uh, an Evo as well. Me personally, guys, I don't really like the fire versus ice to invest right now. So those are some of them I'm going to take away. Now, a lot of people really love Sergio Ramos. I don't like this. Uh, CDM center mid with 73 stamina is not going to be good. Now they can shift it over to a like a like a center back position, but it's not going to be good. Now this one as a center back is going to be good. This one will be good, but the pace is so bad, it's not going to be. This is not a 680 thousand coin card. When we look at 680 thousand coin card, you can either choose Lucio or you can use. Uh, Sergio Ramos. So the the thing about it is, everybody will always and always and never always will always and never choose Lucy over a card like that. So don't get stuck into the Sergio Ramos hype. I don't think it's gonna last. And um, that's the same thing I have with like these big ones is the the price on the the big stuff. So anyways, guys, I'm sorry I got this out too late for you guys. Uh, I wish I I wish I didn't get an untradeable grillish where I would have. I would have ripped those open for you. So until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the live stream as I build those out. And uh, remember, don't forget to join us at twitch.tv slash John Sims. Um, we'll see you soon.